G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today, it's another flower horn video. If you don't like flower horns, I'm sorry, but they seem to be taking up quite a lot of my time lately. Um, main reason is because I haven't been selling many Africans. The flower horns I've got heaps of people asking me, so my goal to get them to a selling size is the main thing at the moment. But, I don't know if you can hear in the background, if you look just here on my phone, um, Aquamate and a few other fish vloggers, they're, they're live streaming for 24 hours straight. Now, if you're on my Facebook, you would have seen yesterday that I shared this video, uh, that live stream on my Facebook. Maybe we do it the other way around. Uh, um, yeah, stuff it. Alright guys, so I'm going to post this video today. The video that I recorded yesterday of stripping Africans, that's going to be tomorrow's vlog. So, this is live action guys. You guys are learning as I'm figuring out what I'm doing. Anyway, so what we've got to do now... Bring them back. Wait, oh, my phone fell over. I think we're going to have to go out of the room to get this one. Welcome to Rumble's Vlog. You're watching Rumble's Vlog. You're watching Rumble's Vlog. So don't turn it off till tomorrow. <laughs> or when he's finished. I hope you got that in there, Rumble. <laughs> oh, guys. Like he's a funny bloke. If you're not, not on his channel, um, head over. Are you still talking? Another very interesting Australian with a very impressive fish room. Actually, no, I don't think I have him. Can somebody throw the link up and I will sub to him real quick? Yeah, I have him. Oh look, now they're all subbing to me. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there with them guys and um. I'm still going to have that playing in the background because I want to support them, but I've got a job to do. Guys, I'm a really shit vlogger. I just started doing the job without the camera in my hand. Um, so, for those of you who haven't seen these, I made up these handy dandy dividers a while ago. They're the right size to fit in these tanks. They've actually got plastic rods inside them so I don't really can't really show you but they don't they're quite stiff to flex so if you look in that tank there there's one and um, it just cr creates a tank divider also increases filtration because it's 50 mil sponge um, if you ever want to divide tanks obviously egg crate is good in breeding si situations but I find that 50 mil sponge is better in fry situations because obviously fry are a lot smaller, they can fit through egg crate and also with fry you want as much filtration as you possibly can. The only thing is sometimes fry do get stuck in the side. I'm yet to figure out a way to stop that. Um, if you do have a way, drop me a message, comment below because that is my main issue when these are when it folds back here the fish when they get spooked they swim into that and they get stuck oh shit the lights off sensor light is good but it's also a pain in the ass sometimes um all right so now i've got all this stuff ready i didn't have to make any of it because i've done this before so now i've got this divider here um this is, what's it called guys? Um, I can't remember the name of it. Core flute, maybe? Yeah, core flute. That was a pretty dumb mental blank there. So then that goes in there. I've got another one somewhere. There's one here. 
This one doesn't have that checkout for the suction cup in it. I'm probably going to have to put that checkout in it because the fryer that small that they're going to fit through the gap. Alright guys, so um, being a crappy YouTuber, I put the divisions in without recording again. But that's alright. So we got the two divisions in. I did cut a groove into this one here so the, so the um, bracket is recessed into the sheet. There is a... I might need to um, change it a bit. I think that one's good, but I think both of them, I'm going to have to trim them up a bit. Problem with this core flute is it's a pain in the ass to get in and out without getting water everywhere. Um, so I'm going to trim these up a bit so they fit a bit better. Um, I'm just using a grinder, the incorrect tool, but you get that. So. I trimmed them up. I also put a bevel in the bottom corner to allow for the silicon. Um, the previous fry I had in these, it didn't matter so much, but because I'm putting such small fry in these, um, getting them tight is crucial. But we're just gonna have to keep trying. Um, I almost thought I put that upside down then. Sorry about the shitty camera angles, guys. Vlogging is tough sometimes. It's a two-handed job. I didn't even clean these. I'm probably going to regret that. I think the problem with this core flute, it gets the food stuck on the inside of it. And then you can't get it out because it's... There's no way of getting into it. Alright, that's better. That's way closer. Um, the problem with this sponge, if you push it too hard forward against it, it actually pulls away because this kicks in and it curls out on the actual um, plastic. <clears throat> and I should have washed them off. I immediately regret that. Look at this shit. Um, I don't think you guys can really see it, but all the plastic fibers are now floating in there. Um, I might try to get them out somehow. I'm not really sure how. Or even just get them down to one end. Alright, so I guess I'm ready to try put some fry in here. Um, I do want to get some air in there as well. I'm not sure how yet, but... We'll figure that out. We've got this sponge filter here. I don't, I'm pretty sure that I've got to work out my airlines before we get stuck into this. I guess I, I kind of just need air in these two because they don't have the direct flow. Whereas this one here will have great flow because it's going like across and through that hole. I hope that makes sense. I didn't really explain that very well. Um, all right, so let's get some, let's figure out some air. All right, so I stole these two little baby sponges out of that tank and I put a bigger sponge in that tank. It probably needed a bigger one anyway. And then this should just be able to hang over the ends like that. Should I extend the air lines, guys? Yeah, we'll put a longer airline on it so they sit on the bottom. Looks a bit neater. Let's get stuck into that. Alright guys, I've hooked them up and I've I'm just too I've got too much running off that one airline. It's probably like crushed as well. I've got so many oops. Oh yeah, the automatic water changes are running. And I'm just spraying the water around. That hose is really short. Um anyway. So this little tank here, I can actually hook that airline up into that one because that's only got one sponge on it. And then we don't have to have this airline dangling across the room. So if I just find my scissors. Guys, if you don't have a fish room pair of scissors, get one. 
Um, it actually worked out well. We got a new kitchen set for the, well, the kitchen, and, <laughs> and that's the that's the scissors from the old kitchen set. So I'm just going to tie this off. I can't be bothered changing that to a T. All right, that's tied off. Sorry, guys. Two hand job. I had to pause. I hate this airline. Look at this shit. This this side is just a mess. I absolutely hate it. Look at this one. This one is reasonably neat. There's one or two there. But like, I've got this manifold here. I, I really need to think about changing this. I hate it. it. Look how ugly it looks. Anyway, that's not for today. Sorry about the rant about my own shit. Maybe I, I could probably even just knead it up without changing anything and just um, using, whoa, these thongs are shit in water. Um, if I just cable tied all this up, it'd probably look 10 times neater. Um, anyway, that's not, where's the line? It's that line there, I swear. So now, why aren't you working, guys? So, these have got air stones in them. I think this job just got bigger because we're going to have to change them because they're clogged. Why was it working over there? I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to pull these apart and I guess I'm going to show you guys the inside of these and this vlog is getting really long all of a sudden. Alright guys, so I got the tripod. I'm taking out these stone ones and putting in these plastic ones. Hopefully they fit inside these little... I haven't actually... Yeah, they'll fit. Um, so, while we're here, let's talk about this. So, if you've got sponge filters inside your lounge room and they're a bit loud, what you do is you do an air stone mod. So, inside the sponge filter, there's a pipe coming up here. You snap that pipe out of the inside and then you put an air stone inside. It's that simple and it makes them quieter. Now, I didn't actually mod these for the volume. I put air stones on them for a tumbler that I had and the, the bubbles were too violent and these were actually underneath the tumbler. But the plastic air stones are good because they don't clog up and in a sponge filter, that's kind of a good idea. Yeah, look how crazy that's going now. That's kind of what you need is the plastic ones because sponge filter carries so much debris it actually blocks these air stones and they're good for nothing. So they're ready for the bin now. Um, those plastic air stones, most pet shops sell them. Um, if not, I don't know where else to get them. I'm guessing eBay has them as well. But look at that now. I haven't changed the air pressure at all and this one wasn't even working before. But now it's too high. Alright guys, so now we've got to select our three. This is obviously going to be the first one here. I am running a bit of risk here because when I pull these three out there is a chance that the the rest of them will actually fight because there would be a change of dominance but I really want to get some size on, the, on three of them. So this is number one. This is the number one. Oh, I can't get any light on him. Oh, he looks pretty crappy through the camera. But he's going to be the keeper. I might actually hold him in that for a sec and get a photo. Alright, so I got a photo, guys. Um, I'm really hoping... I might pick... I don't want the three biggest. I'm going to go with this one here. Hopefully that's a girl. Alright, I'm going to get a photo of her too. I'll show you. Oh, I can do it at the same time. I've had to turn off the live stream because I want photos. But if I... Did, I, did the fish get out, guys? I haven't even got the fucking fish. Oops, sorry for the language. Have you guys noticed I've been trying really hard not to swear as much? I can't remember which one it was. Oh, this is a stitch up. 
man, this is going to be going to be a quick video, guys. I think it's turning into a long one. If you're still around, cheers for hanging out. Which one was it? Is that one? Unless it did it go over, guys? Yeah, it's got to be that one. No, I think it's this one. Uh, it stood out like dog's balls, and then I stressed them out, and now I can't pick which one it was. I think it's that one there. That one. Sometimes the bracing on the tank is so annoying, can't get the fish pop because the net gets caught on the bracing. Alright, so I've got my phone in my hand. We're going to try catch the fish, take a photo on my phone, show you guys. Oh, they, they look like shit when you take them out of the water, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, so now, one more. Oh, we've got 4% battery, guys. I want to try and catch it before that runs out, and then this one here. Come on. We got him. Oh, I can't even get my hands around him for some reason. Alright, so this is number three. I'm really sorry. You guys can't see that well what they look like. Alright, so one thing I will say quickly. This one looks beaky, but at this size, it's too small to pick whether they're beaky or not. So, pretty much at this size, I'm going by colour. I've got some more over there. I might throw a couple of them in this tank just because I don't think there's enough in there to spread the aggression at the moment. I don't know. Or do I put all of them in there? I'm so torn. That's batch one, that's batch two, but that's the bigger ones out of batch two that have caught up to batch one almost. Anyway, I've got to stop recording guys because the camera's going to go flat, but I'm going to go inside, get my other battery and we'll film the outro back inside I've changed the battery that's another thing about being on holidays my structures all broken my cameras always flat because I usually charge my camera at work in the mornings and then yeah I don't need to explain that to you anyway anyway so I've been using my spare battery heaps because I keep forgetting to charge the camera which doesn't matter it is what it is um, yeah, so now that you finish this video, if it's still in the time, go check out the live stream of them guys talking crap. I actually might be jumping on the live stream a little bit later, but I, I actually don't know how to do it. Um, so they're going to have to show me. They're using a certain app and then posting that on YouTube. So I don't really know how to do that, but they're going to show me. Um, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Please hit subscribe. I've noticed that it's actually dropped a little bit for some reason. Obviously, my lack, of, uh, my lack of content lately, maybe. Or maybe I pissed some people off. Who knows? Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.